And shared across the bench as well, you and TJ getting on the score sheet, you must be happy with that. Yeah, yeah we had a joke before we came on to see who would score a goal and we both ended up scoring, it was good. Uh, it's a great result, two really good results on the bounce. Uh, yeah, we're full of confidence anyway. And it must be a great feeling, isn't it, to come off the bench and that there's still that intensity from everybody to go and go and get that, you know, fourth, fifth, sixth goal. Yeah, hundred percent. This is if we're gonna if we're gonna do what we want to do, it's it's a squad. It's not a team. You can't just have eleven players like we us coming off the bench. I know last few weeks I've been coming off the bench. You have to be ready to go. You have to be able to do the job as well. And like just for example, Rico, he's been absolutely flying. But I know I need to up my standards now because he's doing so well that when I come on, I have to I have to be right at it. In Cambridge, a, a lucky omen for you, it is. <laughs> yeah, apparently, actually, I didn't even think of that. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Uh, and that's the thing, isn't it? You know, you're coming on, you've obviously had to change your role slightly this year, playing more of a, a wing back position. Is it a position you feel you're growing into every day in training? Yeah, definitely. Like, I never, I played there a little bit underage in Ireland, but uh, never professionally. I'm really enjoying it, though. The gaffer, Chris, Shoy, everyone at the club, they're helping me a lot. And uh, I feel like I can, I can grow into be a, a good player there. And for someone who, who is a forward-thinking player, I guess the way the manager wants you to play, it really suits you playing in that wing-back role because he ex expects you and whoever's on the right-hand side to get forward and, and to, uh, to be amongst the goals. Yeah, definitely. Like it, I feel like left wing-back, people think it's more of a left-back. It's not in this in this team, the way we play. It's more of like a... You, well, to be fair, you're doing both your left-back and your left-winger, but uh, the gaffer wants us high, he wants us getting at the back line. He wants us more of an attacker than a defender when we're in possession. And it's really enjoyable. Really enjoyable team to play in at the minute. And the intensity of the, the players as well, how crucial is that to this good run? Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. As you said, like coming off the bench, you have to, you have to up the intensity. Like even today, I think like we, got, we went a little bit flat for five minutes, let them get on the ball and made a few subs, kind of boosted people and then we were right back at it. And the fact as well, another clean sheet for, for Lucas as he's edging to <laughs> yeah. that, that golden glove. And he must be really happy with that because as much as he would love, you know, everybody to get on the score sheet, I guess he wants his job doing as well. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's said it enough recently. Like We went in there, he had a pop at me because I gave away a foul at the edge of the box. Uh, but yeah, he's, he really, really wants that, that 20 clean sheet. Uh, and for yourself, how confident are you feeling about going into these final month or month and a half of the season? How confident is that squad in there? Yeah, we're very confident. Look, we're taking it game by game. We said that the, the new the gaffer came in, we didn't have the best start, but we stuck to what he was saying and look, it's paying off. What was that 12, 13 unbeaten now? Um, yeah, we're very confident. And final chance now, you can be a salesman. For anybody who was listening tonight who maybe didn't come to the LNER or were thinking about doing something else on Saturday, why should they be here? Just watch the highlights and see for yourself.